welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynanne. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet. A little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, but mostly it's about my journey through this fantastic yarning community. Returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Thursday with me for hashtag OTCS National Crochet Month. That hashtag was um, thrown out there on the YouTube streets by Ola Jo. If you don't know Ola Jo, go check out her channel. She's listed in my description box below. Um, and it's just a fun little challenge to celebrate Crochet Month. Um, there, I've noticed there's more and more people uh, joining in. So put the hashtag in and see who all is um, joining in uh, the fun of this little adventure. So today is day seven and it just says stash. And um, well, you can kind of see my stash. Um, my acrylics are over in the closet, um, but they're just your regular acrylics. I have a lot of the Mona Lisa yarn that I still love. And, you know, you know, just the normal stuff that everybody has is over there. This is all my non-acrylic yarns. Um, and then I even have a bookcase full of some cottons. Well, actually I have two bookcases full of cottons. So, cause I like cotton yarn. I live in Florida. Um, so anyway, that's kind of my stash that you can see what projects have I done with my stash lately? Just about everything. Um, the shawl that I'm working on, the um, Agatha's Reading Shawl by Ophelia Talks, that was from my stash, from stuff that I got last summer when I was on vacation, some Noro. Um, and the two things that I wanna show you as finished objects today, definitely stash. So the first one I'm going to show you is my far out leggy bunny. Check this out. The, I think this turned out, I think my older grandkids will get a kick out of this. I think this turned out so cute. Um, it's just, just this side of, and it's, you know, you can hardly see it, but it's got a butt tail and see there, you can see its tail and yeah. Um, it's not quite as stuffed as it should be because um, I had a little bit left from the um, uh, stuffed animal that was laying around here that I, uh, you know, pulled the stuffing out of because I never got to the store. It's, you know, it just is what it is. I'll get there. I'll finish these. I got six more to do. But you guys, this leggy bunny pattern is so adorable and so easy to do. Um, you know, it just takes you an hour or so to sit down and do this because after you make one ear, you start with the second ear and you never do anything other than keep right on crocheting, right? Until you close it up with a single crochet across the bottom. So, so easy. I'll leave Joe's pattern listed below. Go check her out. It's a lot of fun. These will make adorable Christmas or Christmas. Easter gifts to stick inside your kids or grandkids Easter basket if you celebrate Easter. So the yarn I used for that was off of this giant ball that I picked up um, somebody in the villages was selling their mother's yarns and I went over and got this big bucket for like 40 bucks and this huge ball, this was you know big like this, was in this and it's, it's wool. I just don't know anything about it other than it was a big ball of brightly colored yarn. So I am going to make another one out of this. Maybe if I can get a third one. I'm think, I know for sure I'll be able to get another one. We'll see. Maybe I can get a third one out of it because I think my older grandkids will really get a kick out of this. I think it's fun. And yes, I did use safety eyes on this one and a safety nose because we all know my embroidery skills are, mm -hmm. for the little ones, for Carter, Charlotte, and Olivia, who are five, 
five, four, and three, I'm going to embroider on because even though they're probably old enough to not put it in their mouth, you never know with kids these days. So the big kids will get them with the safety eyes. The little ones I'll, I'll embroider on. So this is the leggy bunny that I did yesterday. Yesterday was one of those days, and I'm sure you've all had those days, where you wanted to work on something, but you didn't want to work on something big. You just wanted to start something and finish something. And that's the kind of day I had yesterday. I wanted to start something. I wanted to finish something. So I finished this and because I didn't have any more stuffing, I'm like, okay, now what am I going to do? And then it dawned on me, um, a couple of days ago, Jackie, um, from Crochet HD, she put out a challenge, uh, because March, not only is it National Crochet Month, it is also, um, MS Awareness Month, Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month. Jackie is a MS warrior, um, and my sister is also a MS warrior. Uh, my sister Stephanie is confined to a wheelchair at this point. Um, she is still probably one of the most brilliant paralegals in the world. Uh, she works for a patent attorney and is constantly in Washington, D.C. dealing with the patent office. She is brilliant, uh, but MS has robbed her of her ability to, uh, to walk, so she is confined to her wheelchair. Um, so MS is something that is, you know, close to home, and Jackie put out a challenge to make something orange. So when I was thinking about what could I make that is orange, I knew I had some tons of orange yarn because I had just gotten some in a mystery box. And then I was kind of catching up on old um, videos. Lord knows I am so behind on videos and I'm, I'm catching up as best I can. Once, it seems like once you get behind, it's like, oh, everybody puts videos out so fast. Anyway, I was catching up on Juan, Juan the Art Addict, and he did a It's Just a series where it's just a something, and he did It's Just a Ditty Bag, and I went, brilliant! I did a Juan the Yarn Addict, Just a Ditty Bag, out of premier home cotton um in the color tangerine splash and the contrast color which is the white is just some um i love this yarn from or i love this cotton from hobby lobby so here is my yarn the wad attic uh ditty bag now Juan, you know i love you I could not do the crab stitch. I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and I finally got frustrated and said to hell with it. I just did a single crochet around the bottom for that that ledge uh, where you delineate from going up. So that was the only change I made to it. So here I have this really cute ditty bag and the leftover yarn is in here. This took all of one of these and then what's ever left in this one and these are 96 yards so you know it takes like 100 yards or so 102 yards and then this is the the cotton that i had left over so i just shoved them in there because the cats were trying to get it and i made this and you know it didn't take long at all you start with a round bottom and he gives you the, the directions how to do it. And the great thing about this is that he also explains to you the crochet math. Because if you want this to be bigger or smaller, your circle at the bottom, he tells you how to make it the rows up. So if you wanted to go smaller, he tells you how to calculate it to go shorter. If you want to make it bigger, he tells you how to make it go taller. And then you've got this adorable little ditty bag. Isn't that cute? 
I thought it was cute. So my homage to Jackie and MS Month and the color orange. Here we go. We have a ditty bag. And this ditty bag, this orange ditty bag is going to be going off to Jackie so that she could know that I was thinking about her and uh, have something orange to remind her that she is a warrior. So love you, evil twin. So, okay, that is that. Um, what else? Um, Thursdays, usually I'm not here, but now that it's, you know, crochet month, I find myself here. Um, I, you guys, I am almost done with the reading shawl, the reader shawl, the Agatha's reading shawl from Ophelia Talks. This is all I have left of the fifth ball. This thing is massive and I love it. Love it. Love it. I told you if it was going to be blanket size, it's going to be blanket size. This thing is huge and I am loving it. I'm using the Noro, which is the cotton silk viscose blend. And yeah, I think this is a shawl that the bigger, the better, I think, because it's flat across the bottom. It doesn't have that evil point to point to, you know, where that nobody wants to be pointing it out. This shawl, I, the, the variations that you can do with this is just, it's great. You will see lots of these this year. I think I will be making more of these. And I like the idea that you can make this as small or as large as you want. And each one will serve a purpose. I could see this being a really cute, you know, like cowl size just to put under a coat in the winter with some big bulky yarn. I, this is, I believe a DK weight. I'm pretty sure this is DK weight. I want to try to do one in fingering weight and see how that turns out with the lacy hole, with the, the filigree or the, the window on the edge to give it a little more of a lacy look. I might even do it all the way, every row, you know, all the sections, not even the middle section, having some, uh, window rows in it to give it a little more of a lacy look. There are so many variations that you can do with this shawl that it is absolutely, it's the shape. I love the shape of this shawl. I, I just, I think it's fantastic. So, um, I will link the, um, the video to that to this shawl in the description box. Also, if you're interested, I noticed there are lots of you doing it. Um, I've had a couple people email me and show me that they are, or tell me that they're working on it. And a couple have posted on my Facebook page. So if you're not a part of my Facebook page, um, go over. The link is in the description box. Um, make sure you answer the questions. The gatekeeper, also known as Tom, my husband, will not let you in if you do not answer the questions. Um, we've had so many uh, spammers and trolls trying to get in lately. It, these creepy men, it's just like, come on, I know that's not your picture. You have no friends. You think I'm gonna let you in here in a group of a bunch of women and some men. I do have men, there are men in my group, but no, we don't want creepy men and we don't want, I'm getting a lot of spammers wanting to help me create my channel and grow my channel. I'm fine. I don't need your help. I'm good just the way I am. Thank you very much. Um, you just keep doing your thing with other people, but I'm not interested in what you have to sell. And that's what they're doing. They're trying to sell stuff. So Tom has been very vigilant lately about, um, making sure that the people who ask to join are answering all the questions. So make sure you answer the three questions. And it's like, do you follow the rules? Are you a crocheter? Super easy. We're not asking for your blood type or your social security number, nothing like that. Um, 
you can also follow me on Instagram. I do have a lot of people who follow me on Instagram. Um, I just recently started threads because that's kind of connected to Instagram. Still not real comfortable with that one. So I, you may bop into me over there once in a while, but I really concentrate on Instagram and on um, Facebook. I do have a Ravelry page that is Nina's Knots. You just look for my logo, you'll find me. Um, and so, yeah, um, social media, I'm out there. Just come hang out. It's worth it. We're, it's a fun group of people on our Facebook page. We're over 500 right now. And everybody's so nice and they're, they're, uh, their progress and their comments. It's, it's really cool. And it's, it, and it's a safe place, guys. If you're looking for help, if you want to vent, go ahead. It's a safe space. So I am going to keep working on this Ophelia Talk Shaw. No, no. Yes. The Ophelia Talks Agatha's Reading Shaw. That's the whole tame, name of it. Um, my plan is to have this done today. And, um, Hopefully I'll get to the store so I can do some more leggy bunnies. I got six more to do. <laughs> so with that, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you have a, a great Thursday. Don't forget, if you think about it, make something orange. Say a little prayer. Send some good vibes to all those MS warriors out there in the world. And make sure that you are taking care of yourself and giving yourself some grace. But above all, be kind to everyone, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.